don't want any more stitches. Yeah, I took an elbow yesterday, so now I'm out for a few days. But you know, occupational hazard kind of comes with the territory. We're training well, we're training hard. I'm gonna make it game-like, so you know, these things can happen. At some point, our athletic endeavors end. It could be an injury that sidelines us or a raw talent that eclipses us. However, in this moment, the athletes on this pool deck have defied the odds and have become some of the very best in the sport. Competing is a lifestyle for them. They recognize that with opportunity comes responsibility, and they do not take it lightly. I mean, obviously being an athlete is uh, such a great opportunity. It's, um, it's a privilege, honestly. It's a lifestyle. It's you know something that almost that all I've ever known since I was able to walk and able to understand the rules. My my parents threw me in sports. It's kind of just what I've been doing my whole life. I've just always put sports first. Not really a job, but it is my job. It's just more fun and something I always wanted to do when I was younger. It's part of who I am. I try to see this game as like a scientist or like an engineer. And you figure out what works, you figure out what doesn't, and you try and capitalize on things that work, and you try and build on those things. I think being an athlete means always trying to improve. Get the timing, put the legs in the direction where you're going. Put the legs where you're going. For me personally, being an athlete is to, is to be the best you know, version of yourself and the best role model you can be for the younger generation coming up. I mean, obviously, you're an athlete for yourself because it's something that you enjoy doing. You know, you enjoy being active, you enjoy competing at a high level, you enjoy the team aspect of um, sports. But I think that's just kind of one facet of what it means to be an athlete. What really motivates me as an athlete is inspiring others around me. Blog this, blog this, you can do this. Being an African American athlete, I mean, there's a community that I represent, and that's even just like a little bit of extra motivation or even more so of like a push that I can kind of get when I think about what it really means to be an athlete and when I think about my why, that's something that you know obviously comes to me. So inspiring a community there, inspiring my teammates, inspiring the next generation of um, US men's national team water polo players who will be looking to looking at us right now, even though they might not know that they can achieve this level, you know, just trying to inspire with uh, through my actions, through the way our team is playing. It's all about competition as well. I feel like I thrive in competitive circumstances and I, I, I love that. I love that aspect of being an athlete. So that definitely is intertwined with what it means to be an athlete for me. As an athlete climbs the ranks, their passion becomes their profession. And to succeed, they must embrace both the sacrifices and the perks. When you're doing national team and you're still in college, it's kind of like a fun side gig, right? But as you get older and it starts becoming more and more serious and everything starts becoming more and more important, your sacrifices also go up. There's a multitude of things you give up. I mean, I gave up a social life, you know, I gave up a decently paying engineering job right out of college, you know, to go overseas and play. We can't go out every weekend, we can't go out every night, go, go party, go hang out with your friends, go to dinners, like, you need to be in bed early, we have to eat well, we, we can't be hurting our bodies and, you know, just ha out, out and having fun, but, you know, you have to sacrifice that. Don't just sit there, wait for him! Attack the cage! You know, the normal, you know, break times that people have, a Christmas break or something like that, that, you know, someone might have a week or something off and be with family, we're usually, you know, in our time that we're back all together in the States and we're doing training. And so there definitely have been missed Christmas days. By no means do I have regrets about it, but you know, those are just facts, you know, facts of being on the national team and you know, competing to be an Olympian. Um, there are just things that, you know, you're gonna have to realize, you know, what kind of order you're ranking these in and how, how bad you want it. And you know, what are you willing to give up to, to, re to reach your, you know, pretty much your ultimate goal in life. For sure there are, there are sacrifices, but part of what we do, and I think there's also lots of benefits and 
pretty awesome experiences that go along with it. This game's taking me to, to Europe where I play for nine months, eight, nine months out of the season. There is off time that we do end up getting and, and so you have to make the most of it and, and see people and see old friends. Sacrifices, but also things that have given me so much um, and so many lessons. Historically, without a professional league in the United States, it can be difficult for national team players to keep pace with their European counterparts. However, a tradition has been born out of that need. Our players make a name for themselves abroad. I think a lot of years in USA water polo, it was tough because we had a lot of college players and for players graduating college, it was, it was tough to keep playing unless you're overseas and, and really playing with all the other best water polo players in the world. Yeah, it's just, it's very important to be playing games. I mean, you, at the end of the day, you're gonna be playing games when you're in the tournament, so you have to be, you know, comfortable in the situation that you're gonna find yourself in, and you have to try and replicate it as much as possible. All of the older guys are playing in Europe right now. Three guys in France, five guys in Italy, and then a few guys in Greece. Hannes Daub and uh, Alex Bowen both play in, in France. Luca Cupido and Marco Vavic. Um, Jack Turner playing in Spain. Who else? Max Irving and Johnny Hooper. Um, and Ben Halleck playing in Italy. Myself, Dylan Woodhead, and Dylan's brother Quinn Woodhead are all playing in Greece. So there's a bunch of us spread out through Europe playing. But I was pretty sure we still like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The experience of playing abroad is so huge for us. We have a lot of potential, a lot of talent. But like to realize that talent and to realize that potential, you have to be thrown in a pressure situation. You've got to go up against a guy who's bigger, stronger, faster than you, and you got to figure out what to do against that. There's no professional basketball player that's just sitting around training himself all year long and then comes ready and goes to plays in the playoffs. You know, you have to play, they're playing in their season, they're playing in a league all year long. You need to be competing, you need to be growing, you need to, you know, constantly be in the game environment. By figuring out all these situations and playing in all these different games has a huge effect on how you play the, how you play the sport in general. For me as a goalie, the different fakes you see, the different you know, passing schemes and looks in guys' eyes and how they play the ball in six on five and all the kind of tricky things that European shooters are really good at. It helps me a lot to be able to see that for a seven month season throughout the year and then come into national team time and feel really confident that you know, I've seen the, the lots of the best players in the world. That, that really has helped a lot of the Team USA teammates and, and players. I, I think we've really raised the, the bar of the, the American water polo culture and the, Ameri and the recognition. We still need to go win a medal, and that's what we're here to do. For Team USA, the training continues. With their sights set on qualifying for the Olympic Games, they will soon face new challenges and fresh competitive opportunities.